So what we have here is the Xylite IS-3, which is the newest member of the Xylite uh, family of lights. Uh, it's built on top of the Z90, which uh, we have a couple of. And basically, we've been using this light for a documentary project we're working on called the Future Journalism Project. So we're interviewing a whole bunch of thought leaders on the business of journalism, the uh, practice of journalism, journalism's role in democracy, and some of the interviews we've actually done in this room, and we've essentially used this as our primary light. So what I think is awesome about it is that it's a fairly lightweight, super, uh, it's almost like a flat screen TV of a light. Uh, it doesn't throw off much heat. So if you think about the fact that we're in this little tiny space, uh, that's pretty satisfying because otherwise everybody's sweating bullets, including the person on camera. So some cool things that I love about the Xylite family of lights, uh, including this one and the Z90, are basically that, um, first of all, they're super simple to use. So I can turn the light on and right now we are uh, we have white light at 56K. If I wanted to go down to uh, 32, I could even preset it so that's down to 32. But I also have adjustable knobs that let me fine tune anywhere I think from 2K to 10,000K. So here we're going way down to 2 or 2,500. And then I'm actually bringing it all the way up to. 10,000 and then I can also do things like control the intensity so if I want to soften it up a bit I can bring it way down or I can bring it way back up and you'll notice I'm uh, holding the light right now and I mean it's throwing off a little bit of heat but not enough to bother me very much so that's with the white light and I can also flip to color um, and essentially I have a, so let me bring the intensity way up, all the way up to 100, and I can essentially go around the color spectrum. So if we shine this on a wall, we're going from, I guess, uh, sort of green to blue to pink to orange. What are we at now? Yeah, I guess we're orange. Yeah, back around to green. So you, you can have some fun with that. And again, there's also uh, how intense that color is. So here I have kind of a blue light or a blue-green light at uh, fully saturated, 100%. I can bring it down again. Um, and another cool thing about these lights is they can be daisy chained. So if you have a kind of a DMX setup, you can basically plug in uh, right at the bottom here and then go back out. And so you could theoretically have three of these lights or even these lights plus the smaller Z90s in one setup where maybe you have a scene where you want it to be blue. And, or like a, a subtle blue light, and then maybe the next scene, you, or you want it in that same scene to kind of slowly change from blue to red or something like that, or from you know, an intense light down to something else. You can have one person controlling the whole light setup, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So, and again, uh, in terms of its lightweight capability, you know, you would just put this on a light stand and you have this, uh, it's a pretty cool setup. So you have the ball, which you can basically lock in at kind of any angle you want. And then basically you put the light on the stand. And this thing, literally, if I just pull this up, spin it, pull it out, ready to pack up, want to put it back in. Stick it in, lock into place, and it's ready to you know, go on a light stand. And so these are the knobs I was talking about. So you have the power in. Uh, if you're on white, 
So you have kind of, you know, 10,000 K down to 2,500. Uh, here, it's a little green knob, so you can dial that up or down. And then again, this is the intensity. So you'll notice behind me, it's getting really white and bright. And uh, Michael, if you want to, actually, let's shine it on Michael. <laughs> so, all right. So here we have Michael. Let's say uh, we're outdoors, or we want to have that outdoor feel. So here I'm at, uh, let's say, 6,000. Uh, <laughs> Right. <laughs> and then we can dial we can we can dial it down and then if we want to go uh, I can actually quickly jump if I have the preset so here we're gonna go down to 32 K which gives us kind of that indoor yellowish look uh, and again bring the intensity down or with this green turn me into an alien so that's, add, that's what, adding kind of a slight green tint, right? If I crank that up. Are you noticing more greenness on yourself? <laughs> but is it actually more green if I... So this versus that, right? That's less green. Less green. Okay. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, Hopefully that gives you a, a good overview of, I'm trying to think of how I, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the way, what I compared this light to was I was watching a, uh, like a, a Michael Jackson concert from, from Bucharest from 1992. And all I could think of was these uh, Romanian kids going from like polka music, you know, in the late 80s or whatever Romanian rock music there was and whatever production value there was to suddenly seeing Michael Jackson do his like, you know, Billie Jean followed by Beat It followed by Thriller with like, you know, rockets launching behind him and him flying around above the stage and these kids all going nuts. That's kind of how I felt when I first uh, pulled this thing out and started using it. So very satisfying. <laughs>